Hi guys, Dorota Palicka, International Young Artist and Educator here. Today we are going to do the video which was requested by one of you and that's by uh, Rachel Valba. Uh, she wanted to know how I secure the crystals so they last uh, really long on the nails and uh, what is the difference in between, what kind of crystals I buy and quite a lot of different uh, questions related to the crystals. Uh, so I decided I will um, do this uh, tutorial for you where I can show you how to remove the crystals, how to apply the crystals so they last long and what is the difference and which crystals to buy and which one to don't waste your money on. So let's start. I will show you uh, first of all uh, maybe how to take the crystals off and how well they last. Uh, so I had my nails on for about uh, Three weeks, they're not really the longest time because uh, uh, normally I can get away a couple more weeks but because they're white and I'm just uh, going for some awards I, I want to read on them uh, with something a bit more plain. So I wanted to show you uh, how this crystal looks and uh, explain a few things uh, on them as well. You can see pretty all of them are in except the one here right at the end but I want you to look at it and see that uh, the crystal came off nice and clean. Uh, with all the glue, obviously it was right on the end, um, so that's something which can kind of uh, happen. But it didn't leave any silver film because uh, all those crystals, uh, the flat back ones, they usually have got uh, foil on the back of them. And uh, that's pretty important uh, thing. If we buy kind of cheaper crystals, sometimes the, the foil splits from the crystal. Uh, so you will have the foil still attached to the nail. And the crystals itself will pop off. Uh, well, here you can see it. It was uh, the foil um, kind of came off together with the crystal. And I have lost one in here as well. Um, but you can also see it. this is the hand which I'm using for uh, uh, clients uh, uh, holding their fingers, and it's a bit overfiled with the e-file. Uh, plus, I have overfiled some crystals, so they have lost the shine in here as well. Where the rest of them are still pretty nice and. Uh, shiny and this nails are about three just over three weeks uh, old so not the longest one as i have said uh, but yeah they probably the crystals will last me um, another couple of weeks but as you can see white doesn't like me especially when doing eyebrows and uh, other tints it's just like all over my fingers um, but um, yeah i want to show you now the, the difference in between the crystals which um, leave the film on them and the ones which doesn't so basically if we buy the original Swarovski crystals uh, they always come in like in a, a nice little box or you could buy them in a bigger box and this is a bag of 1440 uh, crystals in it uh, and the original Swarovskis they don't if they come off they come off fully and uh, they don't kind of split in half leaving the film on the nail um, I also got some still pretty good quality crystals and I will show you them once I open them. This one is crystal and this one is crystal. So let me see maybe similar sizes. SS6 and SS6. Oh, perfect. Um, no, that's AB. Oh, that's AB as well. Okay, I don't have a crystal ones. But let's, let's have a look. So they are the same sizes and this is the original Swarovski crystals and they are the Czech crystals. Uh, I also will link lots of uh, links into the description of this video so you could uh, buy yourself uh, the same crystals. And uh, let's see the difference in between. So that's the original Swarovski crystals. Uh, don't lose any. Let me pull them. So they're really nice and shiny. Like, oh, there we are lots of them you can see it and they've got the back film now let's have a look into the cheaper version of the crystals in the same size so basically there is not uh, i mean obviously they are clear and they are a b crystals there is actually not much of the difference. You can see it like they've got really good quality too. Like really nice quality too. And let me pick one. I think we should compare actually the clear to clear and then AB to AB. But you can 
see the, they are more flat compared to the Czech crystals, like they're more flat. So when we have them on the nails, they feel smooth. So they wouldn't catch on the hair or, or on the clothes, like, and that's what I like about the uh, true Swarovski crystals. And another thing, um, what I find it sometimes with the um, not original Swarovski crystals is that the back film, I mean, it looks exactly the same, to be honest. But for some reason, I noticed that the Swarovski crystals kind of last better. It doesn't come off because it's an original crystal, so it doesn't split in. And when we secure it with the glue, it just stays on, on the nails. Um, but this is a definitely a nice, uh, nice quality crystals, the Czech crystals, compared to the Swarovski crystals, because there is not much of the difference in them. And I can highly recommend these crystals too. Uh, I can also show you the crystals which I would not recommend it at all um, and tell you about the prices. So the Swarovski crystals are pretty expensive because uh, usually for a small bag like of the size of the crystals we would pay about depending on the, of the size so it can be anything from three pound uh, up to even like uh, 10, 10 pounds depending of how many crystals we get. Obviously the shapes are the most expensive especially like a wee teardrops, but I will show you the shapes as well. Then the Czech crystals are much cheaper uh, because you could get them like at around uh, even a tenner for like a full full pack of the crystals of 1440 crystals. And then Swarovskis would be around, now this is my guessing because I'm really rubbish at the prices, I can't remember them. Um, but usually I pay about anything from 30 to 50 pound for a full pack of them so they are definitely much cheaper and then we can have like the cheapest cheapest option <laughs> that's some Chinese kind of stuff which I got for uh, one pound or even less on the auction but you can see it um, let me open this up but you can see it they are just totally like plastic kind of crystals and uh, what I find about them they kind of last pretty well on the nails, which I'm surprised, uh, but they just don't look nice. You know, they like look like a, like a plastic crystal, basically. Um, I can show you on the bigger one, because you could easily see it as well. So they, they do really look pretty plastic compared to the true Swarovski crystals. Uh, you can see the shine is just much different it doesn't reflect the light as well of course on any kind of crystals we don't put the top coat on top of them uh, because we want those shine to kind of show through it and uh, in this video I want to also show you the application of the crystals as well I can also show you because later on I will do the descriptions in the link as well the Swarovski comes in really nice um, uh, shapes. This one isn't the Swarovski crystals. I think they are a Czech Christia crystals or Australian crystals, but they're really nice and shiny. I've got also so, some Austrian crystals here as well. I want to take out one just so I can show you all the difference in between them. So that's uh, not the original Swarovski crystal. And then to compare, I've got some original ones in here. And what I love about the original ones, again, they are kind of flatter and smoother. So, so these two are the original crystals and then they are not the original crystals. So you can see it is much thicker kind of and this is easier to catch or come off. Um, I did find they last pretty well as well. It's not too bad. Uh, they don't uh, separate as much. Uh, so that's the Austrian crystals and uh, they're pretty good as well. And this one is because I find that sometimes the foil split. I didn't risk it and I get it hot fix. Uh, and I find that sometimes it can last a bit uh, better as well. So that's those type of crystals. And then I've got a wee teardrops. 
there we are and I can show you the original and not original ones as well so that would be the original one I quite like to store them in these boxes um, and it's really really nice and easy and then I got some from Born Preachy as well and it's so funny because uh, I think they cost they cost really pennies but uh, they came like each I have bought I think 20 crystals because I thought they will come in in one pack but each of them came in packed in a separate uh, box and it's just like I don't know what a shame to waste so much paper uh, but let me open one for you so yeah one crystals and one huge pack per every crystal which is really surprising I want to show you again the difference so actually you can see it it has the same back as this one does so I'm it's going to last really good because I find that those um, kind of goldish back is uh, usually lasting better but again it's a bit thicker compared to the original Swarovski crystals and the shine is slightly different so basically what else I find uh, the difference in between them that's eventually when we wear the crystals, the Swarovski one, if I would go with the wipe and I would clean the biggest crystals, they kind of get the shine back again and they're really nice and shiny. Why those ones, they tend to scratch a bit easier and then um, they, don't, they don't last um, me shiny for like four to five six weeks and uh, they would only last me like maybe two weeks in a really nice condition and then they go a bit dull I want to also recommend it to you guys they are amazing and um, I got my first pack in Australia on the trade show and uh, it have been amazing pearls actually I used them all so you can see I've got one in here and one in there and that was my last ones from this size I can't find them anywhere else uh, except the straight show so they're really amazing they're nice and smooth and what I love about it like they they stay they so original and they so different so you can see I managed to get a smaller size of those pearls and I can post the link in the description of this video for you as well I got them on eBay and they amazing like I absolutely love those pearls because I think they, they look fantastic um, and it's something different, um, slightly different shape as well. Now, the whole idea, I will of course demonstrate that at the end of the video for you as well. The whole uh, idea about the crystals to last is a clever composition. So when it comes to the composition, I want the crystals to be smooth, like I don't want them to be catchy. So when I will pick up the crystal, I will pick up the biggest one, apply the biggest one, and then around this biggest one, I would go with lots of smaller ones so this way the smaller ones are creating like a smoother jump and the crystals are not catchy if they're not catchy they are not going to come off like and uh, then the glue is just absolutely uh, perfectly enough uh, for the crystals to last so that's how i would apply it the glue i'm using for it is the neil perfect brush on uh, neil glue and they do really last like I mean if you guys watch me doing the tutorials you can see it like most of the times I've got all the crystals on of course it can sometimes happen that we catch somewhere and like one pings off but in general I find it 99.9% .9 of my crystals last me like for the entire time of the um, needles I wear so it, it might be anything from three weeks up to eight weeks uh, uh, depends how lazy or how much time I've got uh, uh, to change my set then I usually go with the no wipe top coat uh, so I would secure them and then go with the top coat around them but I will demonstrate that uh, easily uh, to you once I show you also how to pop them off so I'll just put all those crystals on the side so they don't don't mix uh, I might actually actually show you as well how I store them so I quite like those uh, boxes because I find it uh, it is really handy if I want to travel somewhere I can just put them to those little uh, wee boxes and again I can put the link in the description where I get those uh, empty boxes because they're fantastic also for the, for the glitters as well to store them like I've got a wee shelves in my salon where I can uh, collect all my glitters in different colors uh, and it looks amazing so I uh, definitely recommended those boxes too for you guys and uh, 
they're handy because uh, if I want to travel, I can just close it and they secure. They are not going to come off. So it's awesome. But in a salon and in a house, like if I'm stationary and I don't have to travel, this is an empty box after the tips. So basically, I just use the box of the tips that is usually a wee label or um, something right on the top in here. And what I do is like I empty this box and then I can uh, store my crystals. Uh, so it's very easy in a salon when the clients comes in because I've got one box and then I can just quickly uh, put all the crystals in. And for the application, I use this crystal katana. It has like a wee tiny bit of the wax at the end. And it's awesome because they're so easy to pick up and that saves like lots of time when you've got a good uh, crystal speaker. So definitely recommend this one. You can get it from our website uh, as well. But if you're in a struggle or you are on the budget, another thing what you could do is you could take your dotting tool. So that's my dotting tool. And then apply a tiny bit of the blue tag. Blue tag is like a wee sticky, mm, sticky something. <laughs> I don't know how to describe the blue tag, but anyway, it is a wee, we stick is something uh, which I can really recommend it because it's pretty easy to like let me demonstrate as well so it's pretty easy to pick up the crystals as well so you would just go and pick them up and then stick them into the needles so yeah I think that's uh, pretty much the talk about the crystals so let me show you how I take them off as well so to take off the crystals, I'm um, using this tool, like I wouldn't use my best cuticle nippers. By the way, these cuticle nippers are amazing. Again, we have them on the website as well. Look at the size of them. They are two millimeter size and it's fantastic, like absolutely fantastic for doing the cuticle works. Uh, so really nice and tiny. Um, I can definitely highly recommend it. So that's the cuticle nippers, which I keep safe, like and make sure you don't use them to popping off your crystals. Uh, the ones I use it are much larger, so that's like a pretty decent uh, size. And again, I got them from eBay for pennies. Uh, I'm not sure would I be able to find the link, but if so, I will uh, put it in the description as well. And basically, what I do is like I would go and oh my, and I will go and uh, do a little bit of shooting. So I would just go and squeeze like with this cuticle nippers. Usually, I try to do it outside, uh, so I don't shoot with it <laughs> like I did right now because uh, then they are flying everywhere and this is the quickest way for me to remove the crystals uh, definitely the garden is the best place uh, to do it so you can see they are coming on pr pretty nice uh, and clean and then I'm just shooting the rest of them the cameraman is just uh, moving <laughs> out a little bit so he doesn't get a wee shit too. So you can see this is pretty easy to take them off. And then I can just file and do um, rebalance on the clients. Um, but yeah, I, I love those uh, nippers because it's pretty quick. Ouch. <laughs> pretty quick. To remove the crystals yeah it looks really messy uh, but they stays on really well um, the crystals I do not reuse the crystals uh, sometimes <laughs> when I've got a really say example this one and I can't get it anywhere else I wouldn't apply it on my nails uh, I wouldn't apply it on the clients nails uh, I've got like a box of a different mix it uh, mix it crystals somewhere hidden in a drawer where I might pick up maybe just like I never bother about the small ones but the pairs I would probably keep it and I would probably keep it this triangle as well depending if it has scratches or not and I could reuse it for the designs I, I do quite a lot of different designs like on the tips on the display tips so instead of applying a brand new crystal I might use uh, maybe the one which is uh, recycled from my nails <laughs> But uh, I wouldn't definitely apply it on, on my nails again, just because it doesn't, it's not going to look as nice. Uh, it will have like, obviously, a couple scratches, so not a good idea. But anyway, what I'm going to do now is I will, yeah, I love those pairs. And I'm so in shame, like, guys, if you're watching me, and I know you Australians watch me as well, I need to get a hang on those crystals because I bought it in, uh, in the trade show. 
and I love them like I love them so much the purse and the size is just perfect as well oh my goodness look what how stained it is with other colors in here what a mess but yeah this this tool is amazing for removing old crystals especially that I wear lots of them uh, let me do tidy up those nails and I will do a baby boomer which you could also watch in my different video because uh, I will create a separate one especially for you guys so how to do the baby boomer and then after I will complete the baby boomer I will get back to you and I show you quickly um, how I apply those crystals uh, so yeah need to do the rebalance on those nails and then we will be applying the crystals together so you can see what to do so they last you so well that you need the heavy duty tools to take them off so i had finished the other hand as well and i have prepared some crystals also to save you time i have applied a little bit on this needle as well and i'm going to show you how to do it and how to secure the largest crystals as well um, I'm using the brush on nail glue, the same one I have used for my previous uh, nails. And basically what I'm doing is I'm applying a tiny bit of the glue. It's good if you do it in a shape you want the crystal. So if I want them to go in a straight line, that's kind of indicate you where they are going to go. And for the large crystals, I will just pick them up and place them in. And then pick another one. And place it in it is very important um, for a large crystals to set really well so you cannot touch them and move them for like sometimes even up to five minutes like this one I have done it like a couple minutes ago it's just starting to set because like half a minute ago I could still move it and uh, once they yeah they are just start setting now but once they set, then we can go around uh, with the smaller crystals. So it's good to do like a couple nails at the same time. And when you're applying the glue, make sure you don't touch the crystals. Here I want something smaller in here. Uh, smaller crystals, where are you? Where are you? Maybe not smaller. Okay, I've got some smaller ones here. See, doing something like this when you've got large crystals is pretty risky because it's best to keep the hand in the same position. So I've got some smaller ones which I'm going to squeeze in here. See if they fit in, they don't. So I have moved the one at the end to give myself a little bit of the room. And you can see what is happening with the small crystals. They kind of go underneath of the larger ones. And this way they're creating a smoother surface. So they are not going to be as catchy. Because like you can see it. Because we have applied that. It's not going to be as catchy. Because this crystal is really large. Uh, so it takes a long time for it to set. And I usually just put the glue on. Place the crystals move it gently sometimes touch it with my finger as well and keep my finger this way so it doesn't move because otherwise it can slide uh, before the glue sets so this is really important now creating a straight line i would take a glue and i would just paint the straight line you don't want the excess of the glue because too much glue is going to um, it can show on the crystals and it just doesn't look nice I do love this pearly ones. They're so, so nice. Yeah, that's so cool. Sorry, I'm crystal crazy, so I'm kind of like always excited when I put any crystals on them. And they've got really nice color as well. Now I'm getting into the end, so I need to think what i'm going to play so i can squeeze them all in because uh, you don't want the crystals to stick out too much at the end because that's what happened with my last one it was too much sticking out at the end and if i leave it the last one might came off 
So I'm going to kill it and apply a much smaller one. So the composition is pretty random. You can do really whatever you, you fancy to do. Yeah, the tiny baby one. And that's this new would be finished. And I keep kind of going and doing exactly the same on the other one. So the glue is start setting. And like, oh, you could see I have moved this crystal. And that's what I was talking about. It's really important to wait for this glue to set a little bit before we going with the smaller ones. But that's not a problem. I can still kind of move it. There we are. And now by applying the smaller crystals around it, I'm going to keep the crystal in place. And also the crystals are going to stick kind of one to another, creating a stronger composition. And I find it this way, like they do really last me a long time. It's a bit fiddly and really time consuming. So um, sometimes you can see this large one is keep moving. So sometimes uh, I do it in a car as well, like believe or not, uh, because uh, to the airport, like when we run the trainings or we go somewhere, we've got like anything from two up to three hours, depending of uh, the time of the year and how many, uh, how busy the roads are. So that always gives me a plenty of time to apply the crystals on my nails. The wax sometimes can make the crystals look a little bit dirty, so I usually give them a good clean after um, I have applied the crystals. So now the tiny, tiny ones. That looks awesome. Yeah, so around this small one, I would go with the smallest ones. You can see the, the rhombus one is kind of keep moving. I'm not worried too much about it. I'm just securing it one side, other side, so I can keep it in a place I want it. Because once the glue dry, it is going to be all good. And the compositions, we can kind of, like, I usually don't have anything set in my mind. I just follow wherever I can get. So basically... I would apply some crystals, the large ones, and then I would just kind of go with the smaller ones around them to create the look I want. And for a balance, I think I need one more. So just a very tiny drop of the glue. And ta-da! <laughs> So that's the crystals uh, done. You can see there are some marks uh, done with the wax like, uh, so the crystal is not as shiny. Uh, I would just clean it uh, like by washing the hands in the water and they become nice and shiny. I don't want to press it too hard yet in case if the glue is not set because uh, honestly it can take sometimes up to five minutes. But yeah, just take a wipe and you can wipe it off any wax you've got on it. The next very important part is the top coat because you want to have your crystals really, oh, that's so stunning. You want your crystals to have uh, really nice and shiny. Uh, you don't want to lose those shine and also you want them to stay on. So I quite like to use the no wipe top coat. Let me clean my brush. And the one I'm going to use is the high shine no wipe top coat. Basically what you do is you take a tiny bit of the top coat on the brush. Usually a piece of foil is really handy. And then you would go and you would apply this top coat around your crystals. The, here is an empty space so with the tip of my brush I'm going just to do a drop of the top coat in this place.
tiny bit around the crystals. Here I can see there's another empty space. So I'm just applying it in between the crystals. So this way we've got the top coat everywhere, but we are not going to apply it on top of the crystals. Once I have done the fiddly bits with the small brush, I can clean up my brush, fill the skin, like I like to make sure my free edges cap, and apply the top coat on the entire nail. Like look what I'm doing when I'm working around the crystals. I kind of shaking my brush. Up the free edge, peel the skin down, go around those crystals, and don't apply the top coat too soon. You want, like, basically, what I would do is I would finish one hand and uh, then go into the second hand doing the crystals, and then once I finish the second hand, I would go and apply the top coat because I wanted the glue to really set. If the glue is not set, first of all, it might ruin your top coat brush. And then secondly, it might kind of show off on the nail. It doesn't look nice at all. I can give it a flash cure, just a couple seconds to freeze the top coat, and then I can paint the other one with the top coat as well. So just a tiny bit of the top coat again. And look, here you can see I've got a really good and empty slot where I'm kind of squeezing my top coat. Squeezing it in. I'm going, oh, see, the glue it didn't, didn't dry completely, so yeah, we've got one more brush to bin. So give it really like a good five minutes for the glue to dry. I mean, on the client, it's not a trouble at all. Or even if you're working on yourself, uh, just wait those couple, couple minutes before you apply your top coat. Oh, my hands are shaky. Actually, I'm glad I'm able to do this uh, video because I was supposed to do it on Monday and today's already Thursday, but I didn't feel well all, all actually the last two weeks. That was a pretty hard ones for me. But there we are. I love you guys so much. So keep those ideas coming and I have to do this video for Rachel. Yeah, I think I'm happy with it. So you can see all those nice bling with the crystals. I actually like them. Yeah, I do like them. A lot <laughs> so thank you for watching and if you're new here consider to subscribe as i'm doing lots of videos uh, with lots of interesting hints and tips new art uh, crystals applications and also ah uh, before i finish this way i have used uh, to apply the crystals on my dressing table and they're still there and this was about two three years ago and i applied them in my car as well <laughs> with the same glue uh, which make them kind of last, so that's a good thing. But anyway, bye for now.